beautiful day outside. You should get some air. It's contemplating the writing of a letter. Never was there a man to write so many letters. I remember the ones you used to send me when you were courting. If a week went by without a word from me or oh, the letters, I could almost imagine that you were going to die from the pain of love. Well, it's good to see your health improving a little. It's good to see you enjoying yourself. Managing Fort Hill agrees with you, Thomas. My father will be so proud to see the northern intellectual adapting so well to Carolina plantation life. Agriculture is important, but I'm becoming convinced that only through scientific education can we really make the most of it. And South Carolina needs to make the most of it. Well, it seems to have served you well. But I shouldn't have had to have crossed an ocean to get that kind of education. And neither should the young minds here. Especially since most of them could never afford it. Anna, I was going to write an appeal to agricultural society. See, we need new schools here, in America. Why stop there? My father and I have had talks like this before. It's a matter for the statesman. Something this important is for the good of the country. Mr. Calhoun is an intelligent and persuasive man, but South Carolina doesn't have the resources it needs, the money or the people, to establish such a college. Then run it yourself. Here, at Fort Hill. Now there's a thought. <laughs> what a pair of schoolmasters we would make. No, no. Uh, I'll begin by making an intellectual appeal before I go doing something so grand on my own. On our own. Still, it's a thought. That it is. Our dear friend, Mr. Clemson, left us a calling in his will, and so we stand together, the seven life trustees of the soon-to-be Clemson Agricultural College of South Carolina. Sign here and officially accept that responsibility. And that's to be the name, Colonel Simpson, the Clemson Agricultural College of South Carolina? So says the will, but the will is quite clear that this is not solely to be an agricultural school. There shall be mechanical courses of study, and perhaps more in time. That will be welcome. South Carolina's times have been hard indeed since the war. What of Fort Hill? It shall be preserved as decreed in the will. He labored half his life to make this school a reality. It will bear his name and preserve his legacy. I'll add my name to yours, Colonel. Yeah, right there, guard, quarterback lock. What are you doing in my office, son? Oh, hi, coach. Just studying the playbook. Like you don't know it by heart already. Here, give me that for a second. Coach, we're less than a week away from the Gator Bowl. And what? Oh, and you ready? Oh, y'all are. And you're wasting your time sitting here with that stupid rock. But what about if you give 110%, you can rub the rock. But, but if, if you're, you're not, not keep, keep your filthy hands off it. Yes, sir. During the game, during practice on the field, but right now, take a break while you can get it. Oh, you get plenty, the captain of the team, not to mention our Ipte mascot himself. See, exactly. Before you started I Pay 10 a year, the Tigers never would have had a chance of playing in the Gator Bowl. No, it was Dr. Fike and the rest. They inked Ipte's playbook. Our success is thanks to them. You help. You got people involved. I want to work hard. Give everything I can. I, I know you do something. 
Now, and I know you will. sleep in every single day. <laughs> that sounds like fun, but I can't do that. What are you going to do? I'm thinking about getting an internship. <laughs> Three more years and that's us. And then four more years of grad school? A lifetime of debt for me. <laughs> Says the guy on scholarship. Well, some of us wouldn't be here without it. Because of that, I get to go to the Brooks Institute where I've wanted to be since high school. Actually, the Brooks Institute for Sports Science is funded by another student that was here on scholarship. He donated the money for the Institute and the Performing Arts Center where you spend all of your time, Nicole. What are you trying to do? Steal my job? Actually, that's good. Will you help me with these? I, I can't picture you as a tour guide. Hey, I can walk backwards with the best of them. Now come on, let's get some of your expert clips and facts in here. Um, okay. The Brooks Center is named for Robert H. Brooks, food distributor, restaurateur, and airline owner. And did you know the Brooks' scholarship was funded by another student that was here on scholarship? W.B. Camp. How is anyone supposed to know that? W.B. Camp? The guy basically invented modern cotton farming and revolutionized agriculture in California. He learned it here at Clemson. What? I paid attention during orientation. And never since. <laughs> I'll be sure to remember that when your kid's tuition is paid for by the Max Walker Scholarship. <laughs> Glad to see him giving a little something back. A little less than he took, I think. <laughs> <laughs> Thomas? Thomas, about the will. Yes. Have you made all the necessary changes, my friend? Everyone. The land that dear Anna left you has been bequeathed to the state for establishment of a college. It's what she wanted. We spoke of it many times. And I know it's why she left the land to me. It's a noble thing indeed. You could have taken all of it and give it to what remains of your kin. So many more deserve to benefit. It's a fine dream of yours, Thomas, and we'll all do our part to be its caretakers. Yes, a fine one indeed. And what better legacy than a dream 